Welcome back to Rose Balling with Art of Lisa. I hope this all finds you well out there. It's always a pleasure to um, have some time to to visit with you all. Um, as you know, this is a channel dedicated to the wonderful art of rose modeling. And here's a great example of rose modeling. Of course, it's on a Swedish dollar horse, but underneath here, I have a Norwegian fjord horse waiting to be painted. Um, if this is your first time visiting here, if you can take a chance and um, hit like and hit subscribe, that would be awesome. And if you've been with me before, well, welcome back and you know, please hit that like button. All right. I have to say that, you know, I follow other YouTubers and they do that. So I always forget to do that. So, OK, I'll say that anyway. All right. I just finished teaching a class on monochromatic blue um, telemark, transparent telemark study. Um, I did this the other day. We did this on a nice sandwich board. So I still had paint left over and I have a couple pieces. Um, I always have pieces in my studio to paint. So I still have my paint left over. So I decided, well, I need to use it. So in this um, wet palette here, again, I'm using acrylic paint. I'm using a nice little makeshift um, wet palette here. So this has um, shop towel here that's nice and wet. And then I put a piece of palette paper on top. And these are those lovely ubiquitous um, you know, food containers that you can get just about anywhere. Okay. And it seals up beautifully and holds so well. All right. My colors on here, this is straight Prussian blue. I use Joe Sonia paints here. This is Prussian blue down here. I did add aqua. So I am going to have a little bit of aqua. It's one of my favorite colors to use. Those who follow me know I like to use that. My detail paint here is um, black carbon black and I did add a little Prussian blue we'll see if we can get to the detailing I may just do the basic stroke work today we'll see how the time is uh, my daughter just came home from being in Florida for the weekend well no she's in Florida full-time for a four-month stint and this is her first time home in uh, over two months so we'll see when she wakes up and if I get to go spend some time with her here all right I have my little my little um, bottle cap here. And inside of that, I am going to put some of my medium, my medium, those who have followed me before, I have a specific combination that I like to use. And it is Joe Sonia Glaze Medium, Joe Sonia Retarder, and Flow Medium. These are my th three combinations. I do in a one to one to one combination in this nice two ounce bottle here. And you can see I have, you can see it's well used, but I have broken this down into three parts. All right, with the three parts I should add, I add equally and then mix it together. So I have this ready. Now, tra typically transparent telemark is done with a flat brush with a side load, but sometimes I like to use a round brush where the transparent Transparency gets lighter as you get to the root of the design. So again, this was done on a dollar horse. These are made by Mike Lusk of Luskandia uh, Woodworks out in Wisconsin. I will put a link below. Um, and he makes these lovely fjord horses as well. This is base coated in um, warm white. It's another Joe Sonia color here. Okay, warm white. I will write this all down below. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I have a bunch of brushes sitting here. I always have lots of brushes sitting here. I'm going with a round brush. I'm going to use a King Art number four. Again, I will write this all down. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Now I'm doing freehand telemark, okay? I am not using a pattern. I do my C's and S's based off the shape of the horse. You'll see there's a number of rose mollers that like to use Mike's um, um, dollar horses and fjord horses, and they do beautiful work. Everybody has their own kind of concept of how to make this work. Again, this is nice wood here. This has been sanded, base coated, sanded, base coated, sanded, and now we're ready to paint. Okay, let's go. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of medium to my brush. And I'm going to go into my Prussian blue here. I probably need to add a little bit 
these this paint was put together the other day and it's a little dry so let let me just add a little bit and i don't really need to add very much here okay all right let's just add a teeny bit actually that's nice and loose okay i'm going to do most of my painting with this one brush here okay so i always start or I tend to always start up by the neck, just what I like to do. And uh, let's get some sea strokes in here. So I'm going to do a combination. I'm not really, um, uh, you know, a lot of times, because I teach a lot. I teach a lot of Zoom classes. And I'm very good about talking through my, um, my whole process. And you know that I do that here as well. So I will do the best to talk my way through this so let's go ahead and add a nice c stroke here kind of adding a combination i'm going to go ahead hold on here let's keep going all right just making sure i'm good all right let's go add my c stroke i like to start at the knob and pull my way up Add a little bit of aqua in there. I like how that looks. And again, I'm freehanding this. I am just using the shape of the horse itself to help guide me. Okay, I'm going to use my nice piece of uh, shop towel here underneath me now i have that there just to protect the other side of the horse you can see my table has been well used and it's a little rough so it just protects the finish of um of my piece here all right let me just push that aside a little bit i've been trying to do a lot of work i'm trying to write finish writing an article my dad has not been well so i've been bouncing back and forth a lot with that. I might have to put this up at a little bit of an angle so we don't have glare. So, um, you know, much like all of you out there, life gets interesting. So we just kind of go with the flow there. Hold on, let me put this up at an angle. Just so there isn't a shine here. So I'm gonna back this up a little bit. You know, there's other, people who have youtube channels that are so good about editing and doing all that other stuff again no i'm not here what what you see is what you get all right this this is it so i just put a um this is from ikea it's one of those laptop stands all right this way we hopefully have very little glare all right so there there's my main i like that now, sometimes I like to take it and pull out this way, but I think I'm going to use the roundness of my my lovely little Fjord horse here, the roundness of his uh, rumpa, his backside here. And we're going to go ahead and give it another C stroke and pull it up, almost like there's a flower going in there. I had a little too much medium, so it's a little wet little wetter than I would like. So I am just, no, well, again, not editing. I just laid a piece of shop towel on there to take some of the wetness of my medium out. I was a little overzealous with adding that. Now I'll clean some of that up with detailing later on. Okay, I am, I am going ahead and dipping between. And I like to maybe connect these two strokes together. Maybe I'll use a little bit of my aqua, my lighter color here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put another C. Actually, this is gonna be an S stroke and I like to call these the question mark S strokes here. You can see it's wrapping around and coming up. So it kind of looks like a question mark. There we go. Oh, we almost have a yin yang thing going on here. Almost. Okay. 
We'll add some more strokes now. I have a lot of paint going on, so just took a little bit off. Let's go ahead and close this flower up a little bit. Again, I'm working with a monochromatic. I'm sticking in my blues. I have some darker and light, lighter strokes here. Okay. You can see I'm doing a mostly rounded. I'm doing mostly C strokes. I just have that one S stroke in there, but I'm going to throw some other S strokes. And we have ones that are kind of like leaf shapes, the thin, thick, thin. I'm going to go ahead and give the center of this flower a little of this S stroke there. And probably I'm going to pull something down on the bottom here. Maybe I'll pull one. Let's pull an S stroke out of here. And this S stroke will help bring, I'll give it a bump, a little C, and then I'll give it an S, and that will lead to the breast of my fjord horse. It's almost like I can connect over there. Oh, I like that. All right. Let's give some little fold out strokes to really make this connect. And again, I am just painting what I feel on this. I'm letting the shape of my horse guide me. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. Now, I do use, again, I'm using a round brush here, but I certainly could come back with a flat brush, or you could do this with a flat brush very easily. So I have my flat brush. I'm gonna go ahead and just side load. Let me not hit my camera. I'm gonna side load in this. I did tone some of my blue. I realized I have some burnt sienna here. So I did use a toner when I initially put my um, palette together. So there is a slight hint of burnt sienna in there, which warms up your paint just a little bit. See, look at that nice little flower there. You can see I got a, a little S stroke in there. We'll give it a little dots coming down. Okay. Well, let's come across on this other side here. The more you work with something, for example, I've I've been painting for a very long time, I specifically rose modeling. Um, but you find that the more you do something, the more muscle memory you have, the easier things uh, flow out of your brush. So if you're painting along with me, or you're you're just giving it a try, you know, be e easy on yourself. Don't worry if it doesn't look like Lisa's. Because remember, I've been doing this a long time. Give yourself some freedom to experiment. Look back at some of my old videos that cover um, stroke work and how to work with your brush. You know, that would help you on your journey if you're interested in learning how to do this. And again, somebody just reached out to me and said they came to me because they um, they were looking at Frozen. They were looking at rose, uh, the Froze Mauling. Yeah, the Frozen is based on Rose Mauling. We like to call it Froze Mauling, but it definitely has that feel to it. And you can see I'm just adding some extra strokes. I'm not too worried about the the wood kind of coming through and giving a little bit of of um uh texture there all right i'm really okay with that so you know what let's see if we could detail this now again remember before i even get to the painting portion of a piece you are dealing with a piece of raw wood and i'll just grab one really quickly so you can see so 
Hold one second, pretend there's music playing. So, okay, music ends, I return. So when you're starting with these pieces, you're literally starting with a piece of raw wood. So this raw wood and any rose mahler, anyone that's working on wood has to take this great piece that you get from somebody. You need to sand it, okay, all the way through. Even though your woodworker does a beautiful job, you still need to sand. And then once you put a first coat on it, it makes the wood rise. So then you need to sand it again. And then you need to base coat again. You need to get into all these little nooks and crannies. And then you need to base coat again and sand again. And you might need to do it a third time. So there's a lot of work that goes into these smaller pieces before you even get to this point. All right, so let's see if we can get some detail on this because you know what, why not? I feel like it this morning. All right, now I've been experimenting with trying to um, record music using my zoom so we'll see i'm hoping the video comes out clearly sometimes when i go to upload uh the normal way i've been doing this it takes so long that i'm waiting for days before i get that or maybe not days i'm exaggerating lots of hours all right so let's go ahead and, and detail let's see how this comes out and make sure you guys have a good view i'm using a king art brand um 9375 10 slash zero mid-length liner. I like a very small liner. I have added medium to my liner paint here to make this nice and loose. And then we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So let's give this some love. I like to add my, um, my little zhuzhs. Right, I like to give some love along the way and add these little details here. Hold on, I just wanna add a little more aqua because I do put a bridle on my, my horses here. And that kind of gives me a guideline here. I like to put a little right there. Maybe this one will just come around this way. And then pull down. There we go. There's my bridle. Give myself, give myself my little horse eye there. There we go. Now he's now he's coming to life a little bit. So now let's add our detail. All right. And I'm very free with my uh, detail, especially with the Telemark style, which is an asymmetrical, free flowing style. Um, Every rose modeler, uh, especially those who are teaching, who've been rose modeling for a long time, they all have their own feel for detail, for um, design. You know, my way is, is the way I do it. I like to tell my classes, I'm not the foremost authority on all I know. I know a lot but I'm not the foremost authority. And each and every rose mahler or painter that you study with is all about adding to your painting toolbox. You pick up little tricks and techniques from each person you watch or learn from, okay? And I also say all the time, it's just paint. This is not rocket science. This isn't like, um, being out on the world stage and, you know, all the life things that are going on. I won't go into that. You know, it's paint. This should give you joy, all right? We're always gonna stress things, but you shouldn't make yourself crazy. Feel free to just let your brush flow, okay? And you can see, I very much just enjoy to detail. I'm loading my brush as needed. And detailing is all about thin, thick, light pressure, heavy pressure. Okay. I'm, I am painting a little quickly. I want to try to keep this video 
not so super long here. But I'm putting very little pressure on my brush. So I'm really working with about the first quarter of it. As I go deeper, or if I push harder on my brush, just like this, I'm going to pull that down there. I can get a thicker line with it just by adding more pressure. I'm going to put this down here. Add some little strokes just to fancy him up a little bit. I like to say zhuzh. We're zhuzhing. I'm originally from New York. Is that I'm in New York and we, you know, you have those people you run to. Well, you run into them everywhere. The zhuzh, 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 zhuzh. So we're going to fancy this up a little bit. Okay. As you can see I'm just working my way around. I keep moving my horse. Now, normally I won't, don't work on a slant like this, but I'm doing the slant so that we don't have the shine from my lights above me here. Okay, let's go ahead and bring this around. Okay. So I will be um, teaching one more set of classes uh, on my own. I'll be doing some ornament classes freehand and I'll put a link below for that but and you can find me on etsy you can find me in my different places and facebook and all of that but here i am i am down in my studio just enjoying some time with my brush if i can go back to my bob ross watching days and painting along with Bob, he would say, oh, put some happy little trees. It's just a happy little tree. Well, I'm putting some happy little sea strokes and detail lines. Again, it's just paint. It's fun. We want to enjoy our time. As I finish up my little guy here, and I think he'll eventually find his way to Etsy. He'll find his way somewhere. But as I finish up, I want to thank you all for joining me. I want to thank uh, my longtime subscribers for their patience. Um, my videos have been kind of far apart this year. Um, 2023 has been an interesting year on many, many levels. Uh, still working with my copyright issues. Now, my dad is not well, dealing with some hospital issues. Which, you know what? It's life. Each one of us, we're dealing with stuff. That's why it's important to take the time and do things you enjoy, just like this. But I want to thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, again, please hit like. And, um, and if you want to subscribe, hit subscribe. I'm going to try to get better about adding more along the way. But... You know, every day is a good day. And every day I can put a brush in my hand is an amazing day. God is good. I wish you all a blessed day. Please remember it's just paint. And thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day.